Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us from the Fortinet studio. I'm Jonas Tishner, and joining us via Skype from outside Houston, Texas, is Frankie Jackson. She is the CTO, Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District. Uh, Frankie, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thank you very much. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your organization, what you do, and, and what your organization does. Cypress Fairbanks ISD is a public education uh, K-12 school district. We have 113,000 students uh, ranging from uh, kindergarten through grade 12. So it, it makes sense then that an organization that large with that many students, obviously with uh, different types of technical needs and deployments, that a CTO would be uh, a pretty standard operating procedure in that case. What are some of the technical challenges that, uh, that you face in a district that large? The expectation is that um, our students will be able to bring their own device. Uh, if they don't have a device, uh, we will provide a device in the classroom. Uh, we will have uh, security such that uh, visitors will be able to also use our network after hours uh, with 24 by 7 access. And so, uh, again, uh, the challenges are, are great in terms of how to secure a network, how to secure visitors, how to secure uh, students that could be bringing up to two and three devices of their own. Uh, that was the other expectation that was levied on our technology department. After all of the RFP, the selection, the bids ran, I just did my own research. As part of COSIN, we have a Texas chapter. And so HISD, Austin ISD, Northside ISD, um, Dallas ISD, those are the top five. Uh, there's really eight that I uh, coordinate with and, and share information with. I ask each one of them uh, who was using Fortinet. If they weren't using Fortinet, uh, would they use Fortinet if they could afford it or if they had an opportunity to switch? I think really it came down to, you know, sizes uh, and the processing power is certainly uh, something that was a big consideration because of the uh, number of devices and students that we have. It is expected that each elementary student will be bringing their own device from home. And every middle school uh, student will be bringing two. And every high school student will be bringing three. So when we built out our network, those were our requirements. So on top of having 113,000 students, uh, we were estimating we would have uh, close to 500,000 in terms of concurrent users. We were preparing for wearable technology, um, and so that was the kind of requirements that I had to vet. And quite honestly, I was unable to find anyone in the state or nation that had the vision as big as we have. Um, and so some of my decision uh, was just based on uh, that gut feeling, blinking, and, and having a, a, a good feeling that Fortinet and MS Technology, uh, which is the um, service provider that we're using for the Fortinet implementation, uh, could do the job. And how have things gone so far? We have currently two Fortinet uh, switching implementations, but we're moving to 11. I actually have a beautiful chart that shows uh, what our implementation is going to look like. Um, there's, there's much more to tell. We're, the, we're one of the few districts that also have a co-location facility with the Cyrus One, uh, so that we have all of our mission critical applications outside of our school district. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of school districts moving in this direction. We're one of the first. Um, and so we have 11 firewalls that are positioned uh, across two different data centers that is securing wireless traffic, uh, hardwired traffic, inbound and outbound traffic. Frankie Jackson, CTO at Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District outside Houston, Texas. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today.